Right guys, Mark Crossfield here, more swing fixes coming at you from my golf app. We're gonna give this guy a drill to try and fix maybe an issue that we can see through the swing as good as we can through 2D video. Um, some more of a general talk about what happens if you see these kind of things. Let's get stuck in. So the fix guys, if we have a look here, we see a pretty neat looking action, actually lots of really good movements. Um, we definitely see the ball starting left. Um, what I want you to think about, and this is a good one for lots of people practicing now, coming into the winter, this is a lovely day, but coming into the winter, um, he's on a range and he's got lines down, hasn't he? He's got his club down on the mat. Now he looks like he's aiming with the lines of the mat to just straight. Now that ball starts left, I can't see, but let's pretend for the purpose of the video it starts left and then curves a bit left. It looks like that might be what's happening. So let's call that a pull draw. So it starts left and curves left. Now if your ball is curving a little bit right to left in the air, you need to be starting the ball down the right. So you can't be setting yourself up like you're doing there, all nice and straight. So the drill I want you to try and do is maybe put some balls out or a basket in front of you say on your target line so there's my ball on my target line now and I want you to concentrate on trying to start your ball right of that line now you could do that with setup so I would aim maybe slightly down the right side I'd certainly point my club face right of that ball at the start and then I would make the swing that you're making because it's got lots of good movements in it if that ball starts down the right and then starts curving back the target you've got what people would call there a functional draw um, it's such a myth and kind of misunderstanding that you need to aim at the target. If you're shaping the golf ball left or right, so left to right in the air, right to left, aiming at the target probably isn't gonna be the best thing to do. You certainly don't want your club face starting or hitting the ball pointing at the target if you're gonna shape it. And like for you, your club face to me looks like from the start point of your ball, like it's pointing left of target. It looks a little bit like that face is closed to a pretty straight path. So you're getting a ball starting left and curving a bit further left, that pull draw. You've got to work on starting those balls a bit more down the right. When I teach with my launch monitor, this is so obviously shown to people. When you show start direction of the ball and then finish point, and you simply don't tell them anything, just ask them to start the ball like I did in that drill in a different place. Um, so with aim with ideas of starting points of visualizing a different launch window he's probably thinking he needs to hit it down the target line so just pushing his launch window to the right by putting that barrier in front that ball that kind of um kind of visual aid for him and then you show him a series of shots when the ball always starts say two degrees to the right of your target line it shakes back on the target you kind of think well there you go done what well, there's no lesson as such i mean it is a lesson but it's a slightly different one isn't it there's no kind of position needed to hit he's hitting a lot of pretty good functional positions definitely start point of the ball you'll see i've seen good players do this i've seen um luke donald with like canes in the ground trying to hit the canes with his start direction of the ball uh, and i'm sure he'd put them on either side if he was shaping them think about your start directions guys stop trying to maybe aim everything always completely down the target line face feet because if you're shaping the ball Starting the ball down the target line, so I've started that ball down the target line and it's shaped maybe three yards left with a little bit of a draw. I would look to try and start that a bit more down the right if that was my repeatable shot. Play to your strengths, you don't need to hit positions every time, you don't need to swing it like Adam Scott or whoever. You just need to get that ball hitting target as much as possible. That's what the good players on tour are doing. If that practice guys, change that starting position, let me know how you go. Thanks for buying the app, thanks for sending the swing. Hope that helps. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.